Well, Jesse, for telling your story to the world, you get the Raw Deal t-shirt. There you go. Hey, man. All right. Hopefully that'll fit you. Yeah, yeah. it will. It will. Yeah, you look good on that. Tell me what's going on. What happened? Tell us about your Raw Deal. Well, I moved here to Florida, and I met my girlfriend, you know, mm -hmm. here in Florida when I was 13. And when I met her, my mom just basically told me to get out of the house, you know, is that because you met a girl or yeah. because, no, because she really didn't want me she saw that as an opportunity to you know get me out of the house like hey you you found a, you found yourself a girlfriend you know now get out so you're 13 years old yeah at the time and yeah. you're moving in with somebody some some girl some girl some who family was, that i didn't even know and then you're moving in with her and her family her and her mom and her sister and her stepdad okay her and her mom got into um, a really big argument like uh, like a year and a half later down the road, maybe more. Mm -hmm. And so we we moved to her aunt's house. She had an apartment down here in Florida that she rented a room out to me. And then what happened? Me and my girlfriend had walked to a 7-Eleven, you know, just to take a walk and talk. And when we returned back, you know, her mom picked us up on the way and said, you know, the cops were waiting for me at the house. Were you surprised? Yeah, I was surprised. Like, what do you mean? You know, the cops, what do you mean the cops are waiting for her? What did I do? Mm -hmm. And. What'd she say? She had, you know, that look in her eye that, you know, she, she, she knew what was going on. She but knew. she, she just said, I don't know what's yeah, going on. She, like, I just she, need to take you back. Yeah. She said, I need to take you back. Cause the cops are there. Yeah. The cops are there. You need okay. to go and talk to them and get it figured out. Okay. They went to my room when I wasn't home. The cops went to my room. They didn't find anything. They searched the room, they did a search warrant, no, nothing in there. Okay. So when I got there, you know, I got out of the car and like, you know, the cops were outside and I go, what's going on? She goes, well, you stole my potty and camera, which is something that, you know, I was not even aware of, you know? And um, I went into the room with the officer and he discovered the iPod and the camera. So cops already done a search in the room. Yeah. And they didn't find anything. They didn't find anything. And then who's this other cop? It was her aunt's boyfriend. Oh, it was her boyfriend. Yeah. Was he there at the scene during all of this? First time, no. So he came separately. Yeah. And when he came, the other cops left. He said, you know, I can... No, I, I got, got it from here. I got it from here. And after the other cops left, that's when I got arrested. He went into the room. He found the iPod and the camera. Yeah. So the next day I went to court and the judge had asked me, you know, were your parents and from there the judge found out you know I didn't have my parents so they had DCF and come pick me up in court uh, what it, what's DCF what does that mean Department of Children and Families oh, okay I didn't even know that well wow. yeah. but you know it huh yeah I know it yeah I know it really good so they called uh, DCF they came and picked you up from the courthouse yeah and what did they do with you they took me to a group home in St. Cloud so so how long were you in the boys home for about, a, about two years, two years. I guess the age requirement to get released is at 18. 18. So you, you've you been waiting till you turn 18 so you can get released because yeah. otherwise you, there was no other way out. My son was born at the time when, you know, I moved away. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to get it out to, you know, her family that, that I do love their daughter, you know, and I just want them to get to know their grandson. And, you know, I want to get to know him more too. You know, I never really met her side of the family. Mm -hmm. like her other side of her family that you know yeah you, you know I, I think a lot of kids your age or a lot of men your age would probably give up on it and say the hell with them you know we're just but you still want to put this entire family together don't you yeah that's respectable I respect yeah. that it took, it took it took a lot for me a lot of work yeah a lot of work and you're still going with it yeah I'm still that's why you're telling this story yeah well Jesse that's a heck of a story you know I uh, I commend you on your efforts on what you're what you're trying to accomplish here. We really appreciate you submitting your story to Raw Deal, Thank and you. Uh, thanks for telling it to the world. Now it's up to you to vote on who you think got the Raw's deal. Will it be story number one, or story number two, or story number three?